package.json is a file always present in the root directory of a Node.js project that contains information regarding it. It is essential because it defines the project's dependencies, scripts, and any other useful metadata that will help you and others working on the project to better understand and manage it. When running the command to initialize the Node project, you will be prompted to give some basic information. Some are pretty straightforward, like the name of the project, current version, description, author, and license. You then have the main property, which defines the file that serves as the entry point of your project. If main is not present, then it defaults to the index.js file. The test command will create the scripts property. This allows you to create scripts for whatever need you may have, and then just type npm run in the name of the script to execute it. The repository, which specifies the place where your code lives, this can usually be the URL for a GitHub repository. And finally, the keywords, which is an array of strings that helps people discover your package as it's listed in npm search. Whenever you install new packages in your project by running npm install in the name of the package, this will create the dependencies property. This property is a simple object that maps a package name to a version range. If you have packages that help you test your code, transpile or perform any other development-only processes, you can install them by running npm install followed by the flag save dev and the name of the package. This will create the dev dependencies property, which is the same as the dependencies property, except that it will not install those packages when building your project for production. In some cases, you want to express the compatibility of your package with the host tool or a library, while not necessarily doing a require of this host. You can do so by creating the peer dependencies attribute. This ensures your package can be installed along with the versions of the defined packages only. Other useful configurations include the browser attribute, which should be used instead of the main attribute if your module is meant to be used client-side. The config attribute allows you to define environment variables for your project. The overrides attribute provides a way to replace a package in your dependency tree with another version or another package entirely. The home page allows you to define the URL for the home page of your project. And finally, the funding provides up-to-date information about ways to help fund development of your package. There are many more attributes your package can have, but I hope this one's helped you better understand what you can actually do on your Node.js projects. If you have any questions, leave in the comments down below. And if this helped, please hit like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.